It's one thing when the media says you can't do this or he can't do that or he's terrible at that or he's terrible at this. It's another thing when fans say, oh, man, he, he will never be able to do that. Oh, he's not even that good. He ain't even all that. But where it really counts the most is what the people in the same field that you're participating in, what they have to say about you. And the NFLPA, they released their second annual all pro NFL list and it was very significant especially when it comes to players like Lamar Jackson because we hear what the media says about him all the time we hear what a lot of fans say about him all the time but a lot of times in those conversations which I love and hate all at the same time a lot can get lost but when it comes to players how players feel about Lamar Jackson because we've heard different quotes over the years from players with how they feel about Lamar uh, but this all pro list to me this says a lot So team keep it clean, we're about to get into this NFL's all pro list that they dropped today, which is very, very significant for players like a Lamar Jackson, a Roquan Smith, a Kyle Hamilton. Reason being is because of the way that they were voted in. And we're gonna get into that in just a second, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, and leave a like on the video. Leave, leave a like on the video because it helps out a whole lot. I appreciate y'all team keep it clean. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So. How did these players get voted in? How is the voting system, which is something that I really, really appreciate because it's for the players, but it's by the players. So only active NFL players can vote and they only get one vote. If a player missed five or more games as of week 15, then they are ineligible. This is to ensure that we are choosing the best players who had the most impact this season. Being available counts. Players cannot vote for themselves or for their own teammates. So you can't put, hey, I think I was really good this year. I'm going to vote for my, no, you cannot do that. But I love that your teammates can't even vote for you. So they, don't, don't, they like, hey, ain't, ain't no bias involved in this one. No bias. Uh, and then, this is my probably my favorite part. Players vote for the position group that they play in and line up against so that first-hand experience for, for example centers can vote for who the, they feel the, like the best center in the league is who the best nose tackle the best interior defensive lineman the best off-ball linebacker in the league is because that's those those are the positions that they go directly up against i appreciate that so much it also says uh, they had various players nominate who the best special teams players were as well so let's get into this list so at, at quarterback the, the offense first team all pro at quarterback is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Now, we know um, when it goes to more pretty numbers, Lamar Jackson didn't have the prettiest numbers. You know, Dak Prescott, his numbers, they're they really nice. Dak Prescott got the sexy numbers. Uh, Josh Allen, <laughs> minus turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> boy, that boy, he just be giving donations sometimes. But shout out to Josh Allen. He cool, though, man. But when it comes to overall yards and stuff, Lamar Jackson is not – well, he, he's up there in total yards. But passing yards, no. But you got to include his rushing yards, too. You got to include everything. You can't take stuff out. Um, but when it comes to how many touchdowns he has, it's not the prettiest. But I do re really respect this list because, again, this is from the players. This is the player saying this, that Lamar Jackson is first team all, not second team. He's first team all pro. So the players who play against Lamar Jackson in the NFL, they said that he is that dude at the quarterback position. That says a lot to me about him. Uh, because we've seen it before uh, and obviously there have been plenty of conversations about Lamar Jackson and there will continue to be plenty of conversations about Lamar Jackson uh, from media saying this and that and a third from fans saying this that and a third but from players what, what, what they say about Lamar Jackson and his impact on the game can't be denied. It cannot be denied because they are the ones, not even just coaches. Coaches, their word would mean a lot, too, because they got a game plan for them. But the players, they the ones out there actually on the field trying to stop Lamar Jackson. 
attempting to stop Lamar Jackson. And, hey, sometimes it's successful, but very rarely because he is like that and he is one of one. There is nobody in the NFL that has ever done things that he's doing the way that he's doing them. He's just different, man. But y'all know that already. So for him to be voted first team all pro on the NFL PA's all pro list, the AP, they still got to do theirs, too. But from the NFL PA, he, for him to be voted first team all pro, that says a lot because this is by the players. It's by the players. AP. Associated Press, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not by the players. So that will be significant, but this holds more weight because the, this is the people that's on the field with him. Now, it's not just about Lamar Jackson when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens because the defense, defense first team all pro players, they had some familiar faces as well. Uh, now, at off-ball linebacker, they had Fred Warner, and we know he, he is like that. Fred Warner is nice, even though the Baltimore Ravens first team all pro quarterback, <laughs> he called Fred Warner slipping. And Fred Warner's impact in that game was minimal. But that that's okay. That's okay. Fred Warner still a baller. But Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith was voted first team all pro off line off ball linebacker. And that says a lot. So what an off ball linebacker is is just a, a linebacker that's standing up. A linebacker that don't got his hands in the dirt. A linebacker that's not a pass rusher. So shout out to Roquan Smith for being named All Pro uh, by the NFLPA, being named All Pro by his by the players that he goes up against every single week, and, and that is no small feat. That is significant. Um, that's serious because again, when when your peers your peers are saying that about you. <laughs> that speaks volumes it really does and somebody else who i don't think any of us should uh be surprised at him making this list but it is still extremely significant um it's kyle hamilton it's kyle hamilton i have seen uh again the conversation amongst a lot of fans i've seen it when uh you hear people in the media you hear players say oh kyle hamilton he might be the best safety in the league and you, you hear that it's like whoa that's that's some high praise right there but I know for us Ravens fans that have watched every single Kyle Hamilton snap this year, we like, oh, man, we, we, we want all of our players to be named some of the best in the league. But if we're being honest with ourselves, not every single one of our players is the best at their position in the league. And that's OK. That's OK. But with Kyle Hamilton, he is certainly somebody that although Ravens fans, of course, that bias would be there. Oh, yeah, he the best safety in the league. But when it comes from outside people, people who are not Ravens fans. When you hear it in the media, it hits different. And with Kyle Hamilton being named the all pro as strong safety, this was not a multiple all pro position because at off ball linebacker, it was multiple guys. Again, it, it was Fred Warner and Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith and Fred Warner. I'm sure that's how Ravens fans would prefer me say it. But it, it was two off ball linebackers. But at safety, there's only one because at free safety it was Jesse Bates at strong safety is Kyle Hamilton. And that was it. That's it. There's only one. And for Kyle Hamilton to be named all pro amongst everybody in the league, this ain't just AFC. It ain't AFC versus NFC like the Pro Bowl used to. No, no, no. This is in the NFL. So that lets us know just how great of a safety excuse me how great of a player kyle hamilton is see lists like these um I, I i love them because again fans we can make our own lists media they can make their own lists and hey some people in the media they used to play in football so they the what they say it holds a different kind of weight even though some people that played the game before some of their opinions they can be a little wonky sometimes but that that's okay because that's their opinions and we respect them but this is just different this list is just different and it means something much more because it's by the players